Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to do a day in the life vlog. Um, Jason's just getting ready so I'm just trying to make sure that he's not in the, in the shop. Um, but yes, I'm going to do a vlog today. I haven't vlogged in ages and I really enjoy vlogging. So I thought we, I would do a little day in the life vlog and I've also got some new makeup bits from Charlotte Tilbury which you would have seen on my Instagram if you do follow me. If you don't please go over and follow me, my handle is in the description below. But yes, I thought I would just quickly show you those um, and try them out for you on camera. Okay, so welcome back to my awkward angle because I haven't got my tripod. This is a bit of an awkward, um, awkward size when I'm trying to balance it on things. It's not all that great. Jason's just closing the bathroom door, which is very squeaky, so apologies you can hear that in the background. As always, apologies if you can hear anything, any background noise. I feel like I explain this every video, but we live with two other people, well, three. Three other people, little baby as well. Um, so you may hear them in the background of the video. I don't know why, I've got like so much energy because I'm so this is not good lighting is it should I say if I, if I move you here is that any better no okay let's move you back apologies oh let me maybe open that blind brb is that better oh. I don't bloomin know um right so first things first I'm a realist but not that I am going to start with so very exciting Charlotte I keep looking at myself not the camera apologies but very exciting Charlotte Tilbury delivery yesterday and I don't know if anyone saw my Instagram story but they had and I don't know if I should really be talking about this like publicly but I put it on my story and everyone was talking about it they had a glitch on their website so you were able to use multiple discount codes and my friend Lily told me about it I really can't get, oh, maybe if I come closer, hmm? I don't know, um, she told me about it, so I went on there and I ordered a few bits, so I did treat myself, because there was a glitch and I got it a lot cheaper, um, so I got Charlotte's Magic Cream, oh, I've been very excited to try this, because I hear people rant and rave about it, but it's £75, £75. Very expensive if you ask me. But it I thought I'd give it a go. So I treated myself to the 50 mil. Thought why it's got the glitch on, why not? It's the treat and transform moisturizer and it's got SPF 15, which is always a good thing. It says I've been mixed oh is this from oh this is what Charlotte says. So I've been mixing my own age defying moisturizer for years, known backstage as Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's a secret mix of mix it's a shake of mix of collagen boosting anti-aging ingredients hyaluronic acid hydrators and floral oils that instantly transforms transforms tired dull skin but look at this packaging i went to go and lift it yesterday and i was like oh it moves it moves so you open this look these two sides come off it's hard to do apologies all sorts going on outside and then you lift this little flap and it says, oh, what does that say? The magic dew of youth and luminosity in, in a jar. And then when it opens, it's like, oh, very cool. So let's talk a little bit about, wow, it's very expensive. I was going to say it looks very expensive. It is very expensive. Um, but this is the moisturizer. This is what it looks like. A little rose gold top so let's take this off Jason and that blooming door um right now right I'm gonna use this stuff off the lid I was actually watching um so she used to be called Sophie Does Nails but she's not she's Sophie Does Life now um her Charlotte Tilbury video earlier from ages ago and she used the little <coughs> excuse me sorry voice breaking she used the lid um, to make sure she got everything. So I'm gonna do the same. Just gonna have a bit of water. I bought us some new bottles 
that also came with stuff. I've got a bit of a shopping addiction. I'm not going to lie during lockdown. Um, and they arrived yesterday because our bottles that we had had gone disgusting. Not disgusting, but mine started to leak. And so it was a drama, basically. So I bought us these. I mean, do you care about our bottles? Probably not, but I'm going to show you anyway. I bought us these, which are... It's not actually yellow. I don't know why it's showing that. I think it's just the light. Um, but they're litre bottles, so I'm hoping that will encourage us to drink a bit more because I'm awful at drinking. Um, so, I've just put all that over my face. I'm just going to rub it in. I don't know if this is enough. I'm not sure. Oh, it smells nice. Although, it does, it's definitely got a smell to it. But I can't quite put, but she said floral, didn't she, on the thing. Five minute facial. I was just going to put it as a moisturiser, I wasn't going to... I messaged um, Alicia. If you don't know who Alicia is, I know, I'm aware that I mention her quite a bit in my YouTube videos. That's because when I start, this is going off track, but when I started um, YouTube, Alicia was actually the first YouTuber that I spoke to. Um, and she is just lovely. Anyway, I digress. But she is the one that got me into Charlotte Tilbury because she loves Charlotte Tilbury. So I messaged her yesterday. I was like, okay, so I need your tips on how to apply everything. <laughs> um, so I've just applied that. It feels nice. Although I don't feel like I've put enough on. I might put a little bit more. Just on. Definitely makes my skin feel... It just makes it look so healthy. I don't know if you're really getting the full effect of this because I'm doing this. I've when I vlog, I vlog on my phone because it's so much easier. And then when I film like sit down videos, and just put that back on top. Um, I've I've got like a big camera that I film on. Obviously, I don't want to vlog on that. Anyway, I am waffling. Um, so yeah, I've put that on. That feels so nice on my skin. Like it doesn't feel. It just makes my I, I don't you can kind of see it now. It just makes my skin look nice and dewy, which is nice. Um, and then because I spent I think it, I can't remember how much you had to spend over, but you got the a like a tester size kind of sample size of the Wonder Glow primer. Now I have to admit to you, I don't know if Georgie is going to tell me off. I don't use primer ever, but well, you know free give it a go what is the worst oh look at it. oh it's colored is it it's come out like that is it supposed to be colored just give that a go oh that feels lovely what's that smell like feels really nice though. Although it's kind of like spilling out the top as I'm holding it. Let's just give this a go. Put this to the test because we are going to go for a walk today and then I am meeting with a friend socially distanced later but I, pro I won't vlog that because she doesn't actually have any social media so she won't want to be vlogged but just know that's what i'm doing but i thought i'd vlog putting this on and our little our little walk because i have really missed vlogging i feel like i feel a bit more confident vlogging because i feel like i'm talking to my friends and i can't get this lid back on okay right so i put that on again not sure if i put enough on I've got this all over my oh it's a bit oh on my hands oh you definitely can't see that it's a bit like glowy I don't have a nice ooh, nice glow right now the next thing I've got from Charlotte Toby I promise the whole my whole of my face I'm not gonna bore you with doing the whole of my face because you've seen me do that 25,000 times and I can't get this back on I think I've wrapped it wrong anyway um is the airbrush flawless foundation if you watched my um 
testing new makeup video, I tried to use this, the sample of this and um, it really didn't go very far. Jason kind of had oh, um, But I thought, you know what, treat yourself to it. So I never buy expensive foundation. I had a MAC foundation once and it was the completely wrong colour and it made me look white so never used it. Um, but yeah, so this is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I went for three neutral. On their website, I'm really talking fast. On their website, they have, like, you can put in what foundation you use and what shade, and then it tells you what shade to use. So I put in my Rimmel foundation, which if you've watched me since the start, I did my YouTube, I always used to use my Rimmel um, Stay Matte foundation. So I put that in, um, and it came up with three something. It was not three neutral, it was one of the other ones, but it said that it was for pink undertones. Well, it had a pink undertone, but I've got pink undertones in my skin, so I I didn't want to go for that, so I went for three neutral instead. But yeah, look at this packaging. How nice is this packaging? Rose gold, obsessed with rose gold, always have been. Just feels so nice and luxury. Um, <clears throat> so the magic cream was £75, just thinking of the prices. This was... Oh, does it tell me? I don't think it does on the thing. I think it... Is it 35 or something? Obviously, I didn't pay full price, but... Right, so it's got a pump, which is a bonus. Now, I asked Alicia yesterday how to do this, and she said, apply it with your fingers to your face, and then use a brush. And it's funny, I've just messaged her about this, actually. She said, use a brush like this to, um, to do it. So I was like, right, okay. So I was looking for my brushes, and my good friend Louise bought me... Was it the, it was it must have been Christmas. Yeah, it was Christmas. She bought me the, I'll show you. You would have seen it in my video of Jason. You would have seen me mention the um, makeup bag. But this is the makeup bag. It's the Spectrum with, um, collaboration with Disney makeup bag. And then she bought me brushes with it, but they've been so nice. I haven't wanted to use them. But I run, anyway, back to what I was saying about Alicia is, ironically, the brush, that, I don't know why I'm waving this brush around. Um, the brush that she said to me to use is this brush, but mine's just the Disney version. It's nice and pink, and it's clean, and it's, I'm a bit worried to use it. Right, so, I'm just going to put this on my finger and then put it on my face. Like, is that this pretty cool? It's kind of, there we go. Right. I mean, that looks quite a good colour for me. Well done. Bravo, Katie. Bravo. Um, so this on and then we'll have a bit of a bit of a chin wag I mean you can't talk back to me whilst I'm doing it but right so I'm gonna put go with that to start with and then I'm gonna use this brush so this I told you it was a spectrum brush but I didn't tell you what it was so it's the spectrum b01 brush like I said this is the Disney version so I think the like the standard version isn't the same but I'm just gonna try and blend that in I did also wet my beauty blender that isn't a beauty blender just in case I wanted to try that as well so it says that this is um, it says stays all day and night so it says a full coverage foundation with a flawless matte long lasting finish which is a mess to me I love a full coverage and to be fair I don't know about you guys but when I use a brush for the first time I feel like I always prefer a brush once it's been used a little bit. I don't know if that's gross, but this is definitely doing some magic. Blending in, blending in it really nice. I don't know why I stuttered there. Um, I think I just need a bit more. Just gonna... Blendy, blendy, blend. Now, as I do this, I mean, I've I was going to talk to you about something that's been on my mind recently, but I kind of just blended over it. Um, so as you may know, I have mentioned before about how I have a birthmark on my, have it on my cheek, although this foundation is really covering it really well, which is a good thing, because that's what I want. But I have a foundation on my cheek and it also is on my nose. I was having a conversation with... Jason's mum. If anyone doesn't know Jason, Jason is my um, 
I don't know what to say then. I said Jason is my Jason is my boyfriend. I was gonna say partner. Jason is my life partner. Um Jason is my boyfriend. And I was having a conversation with his mum the other day about fa- um about makeup. And I was saying about my birthmark and how I've always worn makeup since I was like probably like 12, 13 just because I've always been so conscious about my birthmark. I get, when I mention it to people, people say that they can't, they don't see it. They can't notice it. I don't know why I started this conversation, but yeah, it's just basically to say, um, since I did put an Instagram post a bit, touched on this the other day. Since being with Jason, I don't want to say it is down to Jason, but it is partly. I've been so much more comfortable in my own skin and I know that sounds stupid but I have been so paranoid about my birthmark for years because I got bullied about it at school um, that I just wouldn't go out the house without makeup on whereas now I will I know I'm putting makeup on today but whilst in lockdown I've literally been putting makeup on like ow just bopped myself right in the nose (laughs) Um, like once a week um, and I've just been going out without makeup on and I remember when I first started my YouTube channel I was like how am I gonna I'm gonna, always gonna have to have makeup on to vlog or to film videos but I feel like I'm getting so much more comfortable and this foundation is amazing look at that I am literally obsessed with how that has gone on so you saw I hardly put any on and then I just went over and put a little bit more on just because I wanted the real full coverage amazing absolutely amazing which is not going to be good for my bank balance but you literally you get quite a lot in there look that's quite a big if you compare that to my hand okay it's compared to the makeup brush because you can't see how big my hands are that's quite a big foundation and you really don't need to use a lot, which is good. But yeah, so I just wanted to basically say, the point of me saying about my birthmark is, I just feel like, I feel confident, more confident in my skin now, which is good. Because I would go, I was saying like to Jason's mum, I used to, if I went to the shop or anything, I'd put a full face of makeup on because I always felt like people were staring at me. But as I've got older, people don't even notice that I have a birthmark. But just one of those insecurities. But yes, so this is where my birthmark is. Um, Here, this side of my face. And I really feel like you can't see that with that foundation, which is amazing for me. But you can't see it, so it's like full coverage. But at the same time, it's not like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like i've got anything on my face which is really nice i hate that feeling when you've got foundation on and it feels real heavy okay. right so i'm going to do the rest of my makeup i'll probably time lapse it and then i'll be back to you because i have got a new lipstick realize I need to use this mirror so all I did there was I just put a bit of powder on just to make sure it really is like MAC because I like I've got dewy skin as I've mentioned 65,000 times um what else did I do I put um some bronzer on which was the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder I put the Jeffree Star I use this the Jeffree Star 24 karat highlighting palette and I use the color I'll leave all of the info down below but I use this sarcophagus sarcophagus I think that's how you say it um just as highlight like that although that side seems to I think I blended that down no still there um and then I just use that as eyeshadow as well so I use the king tut which is this one 
and the Dark Horse, which is this one, just on my eyelids, and then the L'Oreal Millionaire, a uh, Millionaire? Million Lashes Mascara, uh, I think that's what I've done. Um, so I just need to, hello? Hello. <laughs> Can I help you? Yes. What do you need? You need. Are you going to do mine? No. was Jason just coming in and um, we got Apple Watches this week which is very exciting. I was influenced by, I'm just getting any makeup out of my eyebrows, um, I was influenced by um, Sid from Sid and Al. She was talking about them and I've wanted one for a long time so we got them this week so he's going to put some screen protectors on them. Um, anyway, so I have got the Pillow Talk um, matte revolution lipstick in pillow talk original so I have got you would have seen in my testing new makeup video which went up with the Charlotte Tilbury products I've got the um, KKW is it Kim KW or KJW anyway the Charlotte Tilbury of that um, but I want to try out pillow talk because I thought it looked a bit like MAC Velvet Teddy and I love so I thought I'd give that a go. So I'm just going to use the um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk Medium. This is a bit dark, so I'm going to just line my lips with that. lined my lips with that and just kind of kind of blot it a bit quite a dark lip liner but yeah so I've done that this makeup bit wasn't supposed to be so long but you know what I'm like I get chatting and yeah this is going to be a long vlog by the looks of things um so yeah so this is like I said the pillow talk matte revolution in pillow talk original it says pillow talk but online it's pillow talk original so again, rose gold packaging. This is the colour. It's a bit darker actually than um, Velvet Teddy. It's more whirl if you want to if you want to compare it to Mac. So first impressions, it feels really nice. Like I say, it's a bit more. Um, it's a bit like whirl, I would say, from Mac. But it is really nice, it's quite dark, but I might just, what I might do is, because KKW is quite light, uh, here. so I might just, Kim KW is Kim KW, so this is Kim KW, it's quite like more of a nude, so I might just that in the middle just to lighten it up slightly. I mean I love that colour of pillow talk but I think for every day it's quite dark. I tend to wear well more when I go out. So yeah. that is my makeup segment done. So I'm gonna get myself ready, like get my do my hair, get myself changed etc. And then we will be going out. So I will see you when we went out. Accidentally just took a photo of myself and I wanted to record. So I'm just trying to find something to wear. It's if you're in the UK, which I'm assuming the majority oh my god. I'm assuming the majority of you are. Sorry, you're just gonna see my arms. Um it's very, very hot in the UK. And I um, just hold on. Let's put you over here a minute because you're just getting there. You go. Although you can see my massive mounds of tops. So I was thinking, I think I'm gonna get changed before I meet my friend later. So I'm gonna get hot when we go out. I think I'm just gonna wear this top. Looks a bit crazy. Sorry, mum. It'll be tucked in with this little red skirt and then wear my white 
Converse, I think. So I put that on. You can't really see me. All you can see is... Oh, I've coloured my hair as well, in case you can tell. I didn't use my Molly May just because I wanted to... A bit more ringlets. I am going to brush it out. And you can... Sorry, let's pick you up. You can see my makeup a lot better. I am obsessed. I just rang Georgie. And I was like, what do you think of my makeup? Do you like my foundation? She's like, I love it. It just... Oh, this is... Sorry. There you go. Um, I just think it looks so nice. So, yeah. I'll get changed and I'll be back to you. So I've just got changed. I changed my top because I couldn't find a strapless bra, a white strapless bra. So I had to change my top. So I'll just show you in the mirror. Please excuse any men. Please excuse them. So I've just got a strappy white top on with this cute little red spotty skirt, which is from Primark. I think it was not last year, maybe the year before. And then I'm going to wear my white top. I just <laughs> inserted a clip of the waterfall. We're now here, walking through the jungle, chasing reckons he's like Tarzan. I'm out of breath because I'm the most unfit person ever. So hopefully we'll get to the nice picture. <laughs> I'm doing my David, my best David Attenborough voice. As you can see here, some wild cows in the field. I do not want to disturb them in case they charge at me. Here is Jason. Here is the cows. Jason, the cows. Jason, the cows. Oh, oh. Abort mission. Abort mission. Jason, Jason, no, Jason, no. Can't they be mean? We're in the woods bit now. Just wandering along. It's nice and cool. Um, it's nice and cool in this bit. It's very hot today. I think it's one of the hottest days we've had. It's like 25 degrees. We decided to come on a bloody hike where some of the hills are literally like that, which you would have seen in my previous clip when I was trying to vlog and walk up the hill at the same time. So that was fun. But I think we're gonna make our way to the car now, aren't we? Make our way out, because it's really hot. And we've kind of walked around everywhere we can. So, yes, we are now home. About to have some ice cream. Everyone needs it today, they're the Audi version of, what are they called, Twisters? They're very nice, but they're like little versions, so I'm going to enjoy that. Sit in the sunshine in the garden for a little bit. Jason is enjoying his ice Then, probably just chill for a couple of hours. So, I just want, please excuse my hair, I need to brush it after we were outside. I want to do a quick um, update on my makeup. Sorry, I'm, I'm such a fidgeter and I say sorry so often. <laughs> I was about to say it again then. Right. So this is an update on my makeup. Now, excuse the um, sunglasses marks where I've had my sunglasses on and I'll have them on for the rest of the day so I don't really mind. But it's looking so nice, it's looking so glowy. Like, I don't feel like I look oily, I just look dewy and I really like how it looks. It still doesn't feel like I've got anything on. Um, yeah, and I, when we went on that walk, it was so hot, like it's so hot outside. Not complaining, but it was so hot outside and we were like walking up hills and stuff. So I, I got really hot and sweaty, which is lovely. Um, so yeah, I thought it would be the perfect day to try and test this makeup out. And I'm really happy with it so far. I keep like, I face, like I said to you earlier, I FaceTime George, I was like, do you want make up? And then I just was on the train to my mum, I was like, do you want make up? Every person that I say, I'm like, do you want make up? Does it look nice? Like, yeah yeah good so yeah so i'm just gonna get changed now because like i said i got really hot and sweaty when we went out for our walk i'm looking a bit red but i don't in the camera i do i don't think i actually am red in real life but i'm gonna get changed before i go and meet my friend okay so i just forgot to show you upstairs 
the things on the stairs. Um, but this is my change of outfit. Let me stand here. So I've just got this top on, which people have called a pyjama top before. It's not, it's a normal top. Um, so I've got this top on, which I think Matalan. Um, I've got my belt and then I've got a denim skirt on, which is Tesco's and then Converse. I am going to leave probably the vlog here because I'm not going to vlog when I get there. But I will update you when I get back on my makeup where it, it has stayed on like. So I will talk to you later. So it is now, what time is it? Let me just look at the watch. 10 to 10 in the evening. So this is my makeup. So a little bit, sorry, I'm out of breath because I just walked upstairs. A um, little bit oily, but nothing too mad. Bear in mind I've been out in the sun all day. So really impressed with it. I'm not touched up at all. I went over my face just with the brush earlier just to kind of blend out any marks that I had, but I didn't put anything extra on. I'm really happy with the makeup. Um, so I'm gonna leave that here for today and leave that here for this vlog. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also follow me on Instagram. It's My handle is in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.